Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face, and I'm going to do it with my Makeup Forever HD Primer. I'm just going to take a few pumps of that, and a brush, a stippling brush, and put this all over my face. This just gives me a clear canvas so that my foundation and concealer will last longer, and it fills my pores in so that the makeup will glide on a lot easier. And as you can see, it also gives me sort of a nice glowy finish. Make sure you get your forehead. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to conceal my face and I'm going to do this with my MAC Studio Fix Concealer in the color NC42 and just a regular concealer brush. I'm really going to focus on my blemishes. Guys, it's not a good month for my face, I know. Under my eyes. the corners of my nose. Around my mouth. So I really focus on my T-zone area with my concealer because that's where I have the most discoloration. Alright, and then for my foundation, I'm going to use my NARS Sheer Glow and I am in the color Tahoe. I'm just going to put, the only thing I don't like about this foundation is it does not have a pump so you have to like really eyeball how much you want to put on your face. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender wannabe whatever just get a few dabs of that all over my face don't forget your neck and blend that in I'm not really a fan of rubbing um, with the beauty blender because I think it just soaks up all the concealer so a patting motion should really do the trick really make sure make your foundation look as even as possible because I don't know about y'all but a man is really attracted to a natural face even if you do have makeup on. You want it to look as flawless and natural as possible. Um, don't forget to pack into your hairline so that you don't have a foundation line. then so my foundation is set and done and now my face looks really even and um, to just set the face I'm gonna spray my max fix plus just a few pumps of that to give me a nice glowy finish what is that so then I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna use of course my <laughs> Milani um, Brow Fix Kit. I think brows is really a personal, personal thing. Every brow is different and everybody likes for their brows to be how they want to fix their face. So that's why I don't really tell people how to do them. You just fill in and shape until you're satisfied. Alright, and I'm gonna let that sit and we're gonna move on to the eyes. Okay, so as you guys know, the eyes is a really important statement in love. Like the eye can really make or break someone's attraction to you. So I really focus on eyes when it comes to dates. So to begin with, I'm just going to prime, oh, lighting just got funny, sorry, okay. So to begin with, I'm just going to prime my eyelid with my hourglass mineral veil. And I'm going to be using the Coastal Scents 88 palette because it has all of the pinks and beautiful colors that we need. It's pretty inexpensive also. All 
Alrighty then. Okay, just for a base, I'm gonna use um, a Jumbo pencil in white. Alright, so that's how you prime your eyes. Then I'm gonna take my 88 palette. Looks like this, everybody's seen it. A nice packing brush. And I'm gonna take this white and put it all along my lid. And then I'm gonna take a nice angled brush like this go into this pink right here and work that all along my inner crease. Don't worry about if it looks messy for right now. We're going to take a nice fluffy blending brush and make it all look better. I promise. We're just getting the color palette laid out for right now. Okay, then I'm going to take this plum, or any plum that you have, and proceed, I kind of mixed the colors, guys, and proceed to put that on the outer half. Then you're going to take yourself a nice fluffy blending brush and just make all of that blend. A crease brush or what you would use to fill in your eyebrows and a brown can you see that one this brown and I'm just gonna put that in the crease like I said do not worry about it getting messy we're looking messy at first. The point of this is just to get the colors down. Okay. And then I'm going to take this purple right there and put it on the outer half of the crease. Then we're going to go in with our fluffy brush or another fluffy brush, it doesn't matter if you use the same one again, and really just blend that out. Blend, blend, blend. Then for a transition color between your brow and that cut crease. We're going to take um, a reddish undertone, so probably this color right here, and just blend that between your brow bone and where that cut crease is. Next, I'm going to take my Lorac Pro um, eyeliner and make myself a nice little wing. Just take your time with this if this is new. Sometimes I just take my finger, pull a little bit. Start in the middle of your lid and then connect it. To wing it out a little bit. And then thicken it up. I'm going to take my Rimmel London Soft Coal Eyeliner, do my waterline. My favorite mascara. You guys already know it, <laughs> the removal scandalize. Now we're 
we're just gonna go back with our Studio Fix concealer and clean up all the fallout and whatnot. And just a dab underneath the brow bone. Then we're just gonna move on to the rest of our face since our foundation has had plenty of time to set. I'm gonna take a nice translucent powder with no color in it, and this is Black Opal brand. And I'm just gonna powder my face, basically. And Then for our cheeks, for, for some illuminator, I'm going to take some NARS Orgasm bronzer, well, the liquid bronzer, put a few dots of that on the other side, my spilling brush, and sorry, I'm still joking on powder, <laughs> okay. Then for blush, I'm just going to use Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. Um, this is in Rosy Glow. I've hit pan on it because I really love it. I'm just going to take a brush, swirl that around. Gives me a nice glow while putting some color in that. Personally, if you're going on a date, and you're expecting some smooches, if you catch my drift, then I would not put a lipstick on just because, I don't know, it kind of grosses me out to think about men kissing girls with lipstick on, so I'm just going to take my Rosebud Sal, gloss up my lips, and there you have it. Here's the final look, guys, for your wonderful date. Valentine's Day and I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did please subscribe and comment below and let me know how your Valentine's Day went or if you have any looks or tips for me all right bye guys